So in last many videos we had seen so many basics of C++ so it is the time to use all that basics in single program. So today we will make a calculator program which will be very helpful to you to remember all the basic concepts that you had learned in C++. So let's get started. So let me open my Visual Studio Code. Now I will name this program calculator.cpp. So what we will do in this program let me write it that it is a program that calculates some multiplication division and modulus of two numbers so i'm starting this program as include iostream using namespace scd and then int mail now we will start our program with initializing some variables first of all we want two values to whom we will add subtract multiply divide and modulus but for that we are taking two values x and y so we can also do initialization like that int x comma y and now we are using some variables like first of all int sum to sum the variable and then i am using here int sub to subtract the variable and then i will use here int mul to multiply and then int div to divide and then in last we will use int mode for modulus now we have initialized our variables so it is giving me error above I had again done a spelling mistake that is I will frame here. So now we will start with outputting these things. First of all we will write here for the user that type a number and then we will use it this and the space and then slash n so that it can go in the next line whatever the user will write or type and then c in x mean to say that it will type the first number. And now I will copy this and again paste it here for type another number. And here I will use scene y so that y will be taken as input. And now we will do some subtraction, multiplication, division. Everything is logic here. First of all, I will use sum equal to we know sum will be x plus y and then semicolon. So it will just add these two. Now I will similarly use it for subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus. So I'm copying this from here and now i am pasting it here you can write it it will increase your typing speed and now i am just changing the sign minus for minus multiply for multiply and then here's divide for divide and for modulus we use percentage so our program is just ready now we have to just give some outputs of that so for that i am using here c out then addition is then one space and then sum sum the name of that variable sum and then slash in for the next line so that the next thing will go in the next line so what it will print it will print the sum of two numbers x plus y will be something that will be printed here now similarly we will do it for all the five first of all addition and then subtraction and then multiplication and then division and in last modulus so i will use this subtraction for this and multiplication mul for this and divisions div for this and modulus mode for this so i think my program is complete just i have to write a return zero so i will run this program let's see what is the output so here let's come type a number so i will type 50 enter type another number so i will type a 10 and enter so everything is there addition is 60 subtraction is 40 multiplication is 500 division is 5 and modulus is 0 you can calculate it it is accurate answer you can see here addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus let me do it here equal to instead of case so what i will do i will use control plus h and i will write here is to find that value and then i will replace it with equal to i will click it here and it will be replacing that thing no problem we will make it correct so now it is okay now i will run it again so you can see i am typing now number 10 and another number 2 so you can see 10 plus 2 12 and then subtraction is 8 then multiplication 20 division 5 and modulus 0 so this is all the result of that calculation but now if you want a particular calculator so for that you have to use some symbols like if you will use plus then it will add if you will use minus then it will subtract if you will use star then it will multiply similarly divide in modulus so i am using here some if a statements so that whatever you have learned in that control statement that should be in your mind and you can use it here so i am using here if statement so i am using here c out and then what operation do you want to slash in and let me output this again here here i will write one for addition then i will copy it and again pasting it here and here 2, then 3, then 4, and then 5. 
and now 2 for subtraction 3 for multiplication i have written again wrong spelling multiplication not multiplication multiplication i'm always writing the spellings wrong sorry for that and then division and then modulus so let me output it first that what we will see here first of all it will tell us type a number we will write 50 and then 10 and it is showing it what operation do you want to choose and then it is showing us the output we want to show a particular output that if we will enter 1 then for that addition will be shown if we will enter 2 for that subtraction now we will use an if else statements so for that first of all i will declare one variable int input and then now i will input this input variable and now we will use here control statements that we had learned earlier if else statements so now if input is equal to 1 then what will happen then we will run this code of addition now let me copy this for all others so now i will replace this if with else if because we know if we use, want to use more than one condition then we can use it else if we can use if also but why else if i will tell you later on first of all let me write here if it is equal to 2 then equal to 3 then equal to 4 then equal to 5 and in between what we have to write we have to just cut this and paste it here for subtraction and then for multiplication we will paste it here and then for division we will paste it here and for modulus we will paste it here so you can see the code is not looking good so i will do what right click and then format document now code is formatted very properly so now we can see what output we want to get so i will now run the program first of all i will write the numbers 50 and then 10 now it is giving me option choose any one so i want first of all let me see the subtraction that will be 40 i'm writing a 2 and then enter so it has shown me the subtraction that is 40 now i will run this program again to get any other value like i'm again using a let's say 50 and 10 now i want addition so i will write 1 and enter so addition is 60 so now this calculator is working correctly now one more thing i want to show here that is now we will use a do while loop it will be a good idea to use do while loop here so i am starting it from here i am covering it in do while loop like do and then in curly braces this all will be the statement i will end it here and in the end i will use while and in between i will write here ip equal to y now what is y here let me show you first of all let me initialize that variable here int IP. IP stands for input. So if I had given it Y, so I should uh, make it here character. So care Y, care input. Let me name it INP. So care INP. So if INP will be equal to Y, then this program will run again. So for that I will write it here. C out. Want to run calculator again? Y slash N. Mean to select yes or no. And now I will use it not equal to instead of equal to not equal to that is input is not equal to y then we will see that while statement is not running first of all let me solve this error identifier imp is undefined so i have to declare it outside the do while loop so i am declaring it outside means initializing it outside now it is okay so we have to also take user input here if user will input something yes or no then only the program will run and one more thing we will use it as statement why else because if user entered something else here instead of 1 2 3 4 5 it has entered something else so it should be considered as invalid statement so i will write here invalid statement and i will also use here break why break so that if you he had used invalid statement so it will come out of that do loop now i will run the program so program is running type a number so i will type 50 then i will type another number 5 so now i want addition so I will use 1. So addition is 55. Now want to run calculator again? Yes. Why? And again it is telling me what do I want. So I want division. So I will use 4 and then enter. So division is 10. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Now again it is telling me want to run calculator again. Now if we, I will again use Y and enter. So it will again run. And now I want modulus. That will be 0 because 5 divided by 55 will be 0 modulus is 0 now again i will run and i will see subtraction 55 minus 5 is 45 now last we want multiplication so we will use 3 so multiplication is 55 into 5 is 250 now we will run it again why run it again because now we will press here any invalid input like from 1 to 5 we will not press anything but we will press now 8 and enter 
so it has shown us invalid statement so it will show us invalid statement so our else statement is also running instead of this what we can do here we can use switch statement in which we will then write case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 and then in default case we will write this invalid statement and in the end we will so want to check that instead of y if we will press anything else then it will terminate this whole loop or not so i had done one mistake here input not equal to y we not want to write this but we want to write a equal to y the logic of input equal to equal to y was also wrong so i will declare a variable upside here care yes equal to y in single quotes for character so the character y will be stored in this yes now i will do it here that if input is equal to yes then it will run otherwise it will not run you will say that otherwise this condition will be not running so let me run this program again to check that it is running ok or not now we know that our inner logic is ok so now we will only check that outer logic of loop so we will check the outer logic that is if we will press it y and enter so it is running again so now 2 for subtraction so it is subtracting now if we will press n and enter so it is stopping the program so program is exiting and getting out of that loop so now it is running accurate it is running ok because if the input variable is equal to that variable which is containing the value y then it is ok then we can run this whole program which is inside that do loop and this was all about a calculator program so i think it will be a good mini project of c++ after learning these basics because it has lot of code to write so it will build your logics that how to make a calculator that how to initialize variable then how to use it for output and then how to use it for control statements and then how to use that looping statements and you can run the program again and again through using that looping statements here so this was all about this calculator program so thank you so much for watching this video